Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is Micro Terrestrial and Satellite Communication System. We'll discuss the block diagram of both the systems, terrestrial and satellite communication system. Also, we will study some important characteristics of these systems and we will compare terrestrial and satellite communication system. So, basically, the as far as communication is concerned, microwaves are used for wireless communication because microwave signals can penetrate through the ionosphere. In very simplified language, this communication system consists of a transmitter and receiver. At the transmitter, the baseband signal is transmitted. Baseband signal is combination of, maybe combination of data, voice or uh, videos. Then it is converted by using suitable antenna, these conversions are done. It is converted into micro signals. Then uh, at the receiver end, micro signals are again converted into a baseband signal. And likewise, this is a two-way, two-directional communication. This diagram shows the block schematic of terrestrial communication system. We are using MUX and DMUX because this is a multiplexing and demultiplexing. We know that the data which is to be transmitted as well as the data which is to be received, uh, received is a combination of different things. So multiplexers and demultiplexers are used. Usual techniques are time division multiplexing, then frequency division multiplexing and so on. Then we have to make use of modulators and demodulators and many times it is required to make a conversion of frequency so up converters and down converters are used uc stands for up conversion dc stands for down conversion now this micro terrestrial communication system is having limitation like this system is used for los communication los stands for line of sight communication so in such cases there can be n number of obstacles like buildings may cause obstacles as well as there are certain uh, effects due to environmental conditions so a uh, lot of obstacles are there so many times after a particular distance it is required to use a repeater blocks repeater is a block which accepts the signal modifies it rather amplifies it and retransmits it so here we have shown the repeaters at the other end again uh, same blocks are shown that is up converter down converter modulator demodulator mux and demux so as i said this system is applicable for line of sight communication then to avoid the obstacles we discussed that number of repeaters are placed as well as one uh, care is taken that an antennas are placed on the top of buildings or antenna towers are used or antennas are placed on the mountains the operating range is from 4 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz this is the uh, general range but many systems make use of 2 gigahertz now the major characteristics in includes as you go on increasing the frequency, that means at higher frequency, at micro frequency, the as frequency increases, bandwidth also increases. So it produces higher bandwidth and higher data rates. The attenuation, as I said, different obstacles are there. So there are many other factors which causes effect on the signal. That means which attenuates the signal, which, which reduces the strength of signal. This attenuation is given by 10 log 4 pi d upon lambda square. Of course, this is in decibels. Lambda is the operating wavelength, d is the distance. So as the distance increases, attenuation will go on increasing. That's why we need to place repeaters after a certain distance as these repeaters are shown in this block diagram. Usually the repeaters are placed around 10 kilometers or after every 100 kilometers that depends on the type of signal, type of applications and so on. Now, as far as the applications of this micro terrestrial communication system is concerned, for a long distance communication services, it includes telephone signals, then television signals, then for short distance communication, that is point to point link, it may include the LAN and closed circuit television. So this is about the micro terrestrial systems. This is the simplified block diagram of micro satellite communication system. Actually, there are two major uh, terms. One is the space component. The satellite which is in the space itself acts as a space component and another very important component in this system is the earth station or ground station. Now there are two more terminologies used in this diagram. One is uplink and another is downlink. 
in simplified language this is a two way communication system so signal can be sent from earth station ground station to the satellite this part is called uplink whereas the satellite reflects the signal back to the earth station this part is called downlink the frequencies different frequencies are assigned for both uplink as well as uh, downlink signals now the major role of a satellite as i said is to reflect electronic signals for example in case of satellite uh, telecommunication system telephone system the earth station transmits the data to the satellite then satellite retransmits reflects that data to another station uh, which is considerably at a larger distance from the transmitting uh, station then in case of uh, a satellite television system the data is transmitted from the earth station the satellite accepts that data and then that data is distributed over a different region depending on the application depending on the requirement so the major role is the role performed by the earth station whenever you want to transmit the data to the satellite then user enters the data this data is the baseband uh, data signal which is a combination of uh, different amounts of data like it may contains voice signal video signals and so on then it is passed through the terrestrial system and then earth station up converts that data then it amplifies that data and then it is applied to the suitable antenna system this is the uplink signal which is transmitted towards the satellite then satellite reflects those signal depending on the application depending on the requirement this is the downlink signal again at the receiver side we are using a suitable antenna so the function of the earth station at, at the receiver side is opposite to that of the function which is performed at the transmitter side so again the data is back converted into the suitable form and then it is applied uh, to the terrestrial system and to the particular user now different kinds of losses are existing in both uplink and uh, downlink systems that means in general uh, satellite system so these losses are fsl now uh, that is the free space loss whenever the data is transmitting through the free space then environmental conditions are also causing different effects different attenuations in the transmitter signal free space loss then aml that is antenna misalignment loss we discuss that at the transmitter as well as at the receiver end we need to make use of a suitable antenna so if there is some misalignment in the antenna then it produces attenuation this is attenuation uh, uh, losses related to the antenna misalignment loss next is polarization loss and uh, one more major type of loss is atmospheric absorption loss so this is about the generalized micro satellite communication system next is comparison between these two communication system that means comparison between satellite communication and terrestrial communication system as far as this satellite communication system is concerned it provides more coverage area for example geo satellite having a single antenna can cover one fourth area of the earth whereas comparatively this terrestrial communication system gives less coverage area second point is as far as the transmission data is concerned then there is more degradation in case of satellite uh, communication system whereas in terrestrial communication system there is a less degradation of the data then if you are talking about the data passing from satellite to earth station and again from earth station to satellite that means for one complete cycle this delay is typically around 240 milliseconds in case of satellite communication system whereas the terrestrial communication system has a comparatively very less delay compared to the satellite communication then in case of satellite communication the transmission cost is independent of the distance within the coverage area of satellite antenna whereas in case of terrestrial communication system the transmission cost is directly proportional to the distance that means as the distance increases transmission loss of the entire system will also increase satellite communication provides very high bandwidth and very high data rates whereas compared to satellite communication this terrestrial communication system provides lower bandwidth and lower uh, data rates so this is about the communication satellite difference between satellite and terrestrial communication system so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video